I'm in the utility room at the National Western Center, a massive event and education center in Denver, where sewage is being used to heat and cool multiple large buildings year round. The buildings include classes, offices, an equestrian center, and even a veterinary hospital. The hope is that developers can use existing sewer lines as a low carbon solution for heating and cooling buildings. Here's how it works. Sewer heat recovery is a system that takes the black water, the sewage running through a pipeline, through a simple heat exchange system. And this is where the sewer water comes in at, right here. Anything you could think of that somebody would put in the sewer, it, it runs through here. So we have to filter it out to make sure it's clean to run through our heat exchangers. Metal plates transfer the temperature of the sewage, which is typically a stable 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius, to clean water that's piped to the buildings. If it's cool outside, the water helps warm the building. And if it's warm, that same temperature will cool it down. There's about 300 plates in here. And so it passes through on one side of those plates and then the clean water passes on the other side of those plates and it exchanges the heat through those, those mineral, they're very thin metal plates. And just to be clear, there's no smell in the buildings. It's fresh water, not sewage, that's being circulated. The technology might seem niche, but experts say that many different cities and types of buildings can take advantage of the energy and cost saving systems.